In one corner, Scolopendra, an armor-plated, meat-eating centipede that can be a foot long and extremely fast on its many pairs of legs. One pair has even evolved into deadly venomous pincers, the only animal on the planet with fangs for legs. Today, it's up against the Red Claw Scorpion. The scorpion may be slower than the centipede, but its pinching power is in a league of its own. If it was the size of a grown man, it could crush a seven-ton truck in its pincers. And it packs a dangerous sting in its tail. That doesn't feel right. Let's take it back. Did that feel a bit slow to you? Like something's missing? This is meant to be the story of an epic battle between a creepy, lithe, venomous, giant centipede and an armoured scorpion monster with a massive sting in its tail. And keeping in mind it's meant for a family audience, paying for the experience and spectacle of seeing it on a giant IMAX screen in 3D, we want, this, we want these amazing, mighty micro-monsters with their superpowers to feel super engaging and super exciting. Now, take any one pillar away from a film and the walls come tumbling down. I'm sure you can guess what's missing here. Music. Now, music's sneaky. It allows us to bypass thinking the story and hook in directly to feeling it. But where to begin? There are so many ways to skin this cat. We could compose subjective music that gets us inside the heads of characters. I'm not sure these guys have got brains big enough for that, though. We could compose music that does something counter to what's going on on screen, telling another dimension to the story and counterpoint. Or we could help create a sense of character and just amplify the action and make it more exciting and more powerful. Let's start with the centipede. and give an impression of character of those hundreds of legs moving back and forth with creepy control. Make it more creepy and fluid with some woodwind colour. Add a melody that sounds a bit like the winding tune of a snake charmer. While another layer starts to create a macabre sense of mission. And bring it all together begin building a sense of anticipation. And what about the scorpion? I was asked to make this character feel like it had the strength and aggression of a metal-armoured transformer-like monster. So he slams onto the screen with the smash of an anvil. And metallic percussion with a weighty, burly melody, adding to his strength. And while this is going on, we develop the macabre sense of mission and anticipation. As we are working towards a destination for these two guys. But of course, it's not just music telling the story. Personally, as well as with picture, I always work with dialogue and sound effects turned on so that I can work with these elements rather than compete against them when they're mixed together later on. The problem is they hunt the same prey in the same territory. Dialogue is king. And they don't like the competition. So no matter what, it must be heard. The battle here should be in the story rather, in the sto rather than in the storytelling. So, as these two monsters meet, we bring together the musical elements we introduced separately before, starting this time with metal. Now including brass, a layer of aggressive strings developed out of the macabre mission idea. with the pace of the sinuous centipede theme. 
in a gladiator fight to the death. Now, this might all sound like a simple process of laying down some music and throwing it over the wall. It never is that simple. It never is just thrown over the wall. It's always collaborative, always evolutionary, working together with the director, editor, producers, and sound team. And it always starts with the story and a detailed set of conversations with the director about which emotional buttons to press and the, the, the type of musical language that we should use to press them. What we have in the music here is just one way to skin this cat. The important thing is that the music brings something to the party rather than, uh, and makes the film better with it than without it. Otherwise, don't use music or try different music. So let's finish by putting it all together. Story, picture, dialogue, sound and music and see now how the music contributes to the whole. How it amplifies the action, the drama and sense of character and helps make these amazing, mighty micro-monsters with their superpowers feel super engaging and super exciting. Some opponents are more evenly matched. In one corner, Scholar Pendra, an armor-plated, meat-eating centipede that can be a foot long and extremely fast on its many pairs of legs. One pair has even evolved into deadly venomous pincers, the only animal on the planet with fangs for legs. Today, it's up against the Red Claw Scorpion. The scorpion may be slower than the centipede, but its pinching power is in a league of its own. If it was the size of a grown man, it could crush a seven-ton truck in its pincers. And it packs a dangerous sting in its tail. The problem is they hunt the same prey in the same territory. And they don't like the competition. The centipede desperately tries to sting beneath the scorpion's armor plating. But it's no use. The scorpion's pincers make light work of the centipede's body armor. If you can't defend yourself down here, you're not likely to stay alive for very long. But tomorrow's battle may be a different story. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you.